Why, hello there! Welcome to my sample series. This is why I showcase games running on enhanced or next-gen consoles in 4K and or HDR. This week, after a long hiatus, I guess, from doing these videos, I'm doing a little game called Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. This is a game that originally came out for the Xbox 360 back in 2008, and I got it as part of the Rare Replay collection uh, about five years ago or so. In any case, I'm doing this game here because it's sort of been on my list of games to do one of these for for a while now, and since it will be able to take advantage of the Auto HDR on the Series X, I'm gonna give it a try here. So I'm just gonna jump in here to my Previously, um, save game. There you go. You got a stack of Xbox 360s in the background there. Zoom save game. Now, I, to be perfectly honest, have not played really this game in a while. I just sort of uh, tested around with it recently to make sure that I could find the things I wanted to do. But I'm just going to show off this game. This is a very bright, very colorful game. Although I do think the um, HDR, uh, the auto HDR, is um, affecting the color palette a bit in a, let's say, not as desirable way. But let's uh, just jump into some of these worlds. Probably not going to actually do any missions, but I do want to show off the few worlds that I have, some of the few worlds I have access to. That was sort of the hub world in which you used to access the mission worlds here. There we go. But as you can see, it is a very nice looking game. I believe it is being upscaled or up res to 4K using the old 3X multiplier that the um, Xbox One X did. And like I said, it has HDR enabled as well. A new feature found in this Series X. Now, some of the pet color palettes might be affected by the in-game time of day. I think that's um, the biggest thing that I'm seeing. Well, yeah, I, I really like the look of this game, especially this green, these green patches here. I'm a sucker for bright, bold primary colors. That kind of looks like coffee beans. <laughs> Let's see if I can, um, I guess get back to my vehicle and then see what the mission here looks like. I think it's one I've already done, but that was a long time ago. This is being recorded in 4K HDR at 60 frames a second, and I've actually increased the um, bitrate in which I do these videos now, because this new console seems to, de seems to benefit from it. Now doing them at about 80 megs a second, which is double what I did before. Now I understand that this game is uh, fairly controversial, that because it's not just another Banjo Kazooie game. It's actually got this whole building stuff mechanic to it, and I guess a lot of people wanted an actual sequel to Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Me, I, from what I've played of it, I really like it. So I, I, I'm not one of those haters of this game, but then again, I've never had an interest in the original Banjo-Kazooie either, so take my opinions with a whole tablespoon of salt, I guess. I did play and enjoy Ukulele, the spiritual successor to this game, to the um, Banjo-Kazooie games, I mean. In fact, I streamed that game as one of my um, streams before I started talking to microphones back in the day. That's a shortcut to Showdown Town, which is that main hub world area. Alright, let's head up here then. I'm guessing those are supposed to be clouds. I don't know. There's this guy. Nutty Acres, best ever, 42 seconds.
All right. Now, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Guess I'm supposed to... Oh, yeah, pick up this bomb that's in here and deliver it to the target. All right, now I get it, I think. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Great. Not helpful at all. How do I... I know there's a button I'm supposed to hit to lift things up. Perhaps if I, um, take a look at the controls here. Wow, I don't see anything here. Should I... I should have had the music volume down a little bit. There you go. That just affects that thing. Okay, that turns on the high beams, but it doesn't do anything for me. Okay, right trigger does it. I got it. Sorry about that, folks. Like I said, it's been a while. And this game doesn't exactly, um... <laughs> this game doesn't exactly tell you, uh, what to do very clearly. guys are attacking me now. Hmm. All right. Definitely not my best time. That doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Now, this is what I remember. This, uh, I guess it is a time of day thing. Look how bright and, and vibrant this color is. Oh. It's one of those things that I obsess over. Now, uh, let's see here. This video's not exactly very focused, and again, none of my... 4K HDR videos are generally, but I'm hoping to change that in, in, the, in the near future. I just wanted to get back in the swing of recording these things, hopefully on a regular basis again. I have some ideas, or the beginnings of some ideas of how to make these uh, sample series videos better. Hopefully I'll begin to implement them within the next video make them more focused, like focus on a particular part of a game and label them, labeling them as such. Now there's this one level, the second world that I have access to in this game that I really want to show off because I actually think it's really impressive looking. 
And it took me quite a while to uh, remember to figure out how to access it. But it's over here. The log box 720. Yeah, you'll understand why it's called that in a moment here. <laughs> Lightning fast loading times. Take a look at this. We're inside an Xbox 360. And look, here's the disc. Although I'm playing a digital copy, so there's no disc in the actual system itself. But, yeah, look at that. Even says Xbox 360. Of course, it's not actually what the inside of a 360 looks like. At least I hope not. This is basically a level inside a computer. Let's take a look here. Fun stuff we've got. Fun, fun thing, I don't think 360s have uh, CRTs inside of them. <laughs> Now, if I hit certain uh, components within these, within this area, it'll actually um, alter the uh, appearance of the, of the game. If I can find something, I'll do that. Okay, these guys need to um, not exist. There we go. Got that off of there. I can just move that stuff around, okay. Something we can interact with there. We got these, not ribbon cables, but something else. It might be ribbon cables, I don't know. Got layers of thermal paste up there. Nice little touch. This is quite a vertically oriented uh, level. Or world, I should say. This might be a game I'd be willing to do a daily long play series of at some point in the future. If there's any interest in me doing that, uh, I guess leave a comment below and I'll certainly consider it. Hey look, a Viva Pinata disc. Obviously it's not spinning because it's not being played at the moment, but it's odd that they would have that here anyway. Of course, if I were to do a daily long play series on this, I would have to start over. I mean, look, that's what I'm talking about. I'd have to start over from the beginning, which I'd be fine with. Run into that. I think it only does it once. But yeah, this is not really meant to show off any particular gameplay feature, just to show off the visuals. Here's Kazooie. <laughs> that is a whole lot of thermal paste there. It goes pretty deep, doesn't it? How, I wonder how deep it goes.
Uh, probably going to be in trouble here. I'm actually driving around <laughs> in those tubes, those pink tubes. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to drown here, but that's alright. I'll see what happens when I do. Yeah, I got a, a note. There we go. Oh, nothing happened. All right. While we, um, return to Showdown Town, this is quite frankly, uh, it seems like it'd be faster to do that than to get... to try to swim my way out of there. At a different area of this game. Of this world, I mean. It's funny, I'm showcasing this, showing off this game, but I'm not showing off the one thing that actually makes it unique and interesting, which is the, um, car building or altering mechanic. But hey, you know what, if you want to see, uh, some 4K HDR footage of that, just leave a comment below and I will be happy to provide it. If there's demand, I'll do it. Console run at 1,000 gigaflops. Oops. I shouldn't have skipped that. All right. Use your wrench to deactivate them. They're not the easiest things to reach, so maybe a helicopter would be ideal this time. Okay, sure, I'll do that. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. Rotate the analog stick. I, I didn't notice that prompt at first. Yeah, I think you have to hit A to go forward. Or maybe, no, you have to fly it like an actual helicopter. Okay. I think I understand it a little. Very squirrely, though. Try to make it go forward without it also going down. And then just one more. Yay! Now I know I can do that faster, obviously, but 
Took me a moment to figure out what I was actually doing there. And I got a Jiggy for my efforts. Cool. Yeah, this is a neat game. I should definitely put this on my list of, of games to do a daily long play stream of. I think that'd be neat. I don't know if that would uh, generate any more views or subscribers for this channel. Because like I said, this game is, for whatever reason, not more well, for the reasons I actually said. And I guess I can understand their point. Uh, not popular. But it seems neat to me. And because I have rare replay collection, I also have access to the 360 uh, ports of um, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. By the way, if you have an Xbox One, you owe it to yourself to get rare replay collection anyway. It's got a lot of stuff, and you can get that a physical copy of that game dirt cheap. Me, I think I um, got it on a Black Friday deal for like 10 bucks digitally, so yeah. Well, you might be able to get it for even less than that like, at, like, a uh, local used game store. Definitely one of those must-have Xbox One games. In my opinion. Which is, of course, the only one I have. Alright, let's, uh, return to, um, Showdown Town. Show off a little bit of that before I call it a video. Yeah, this is basically the overworld, and this, you'll see a floating guy somewhere around here, I think up here maybe, who calls himself the king of all games. He's basically a floating monitor that has Pong going on his face at all times. He's pitted you against the evil witch from the previous games to complete a series of challenges in different worlds. I'd, I'd miss that joke. Hit A to button through it. Mm. But yeah. This is the overworld area, and you have this is how you access the individual worlds. Obviously, you'd need some sort of helicopter to get up there. And these numbers above these places indicate how many um, jiggies you need to access them. Basically, this game's version of stars. Or shines, or moons, or whatever. Wait, I really like the look of this game. I think its um art style has aged pretty, has aged quite well actually. There's a lot of uh, games from the 360 era that don't look so great, that don't hold up so well anymore. Some more technically um, impressive games of their time, they look more dated. But bright, colorful graphics, bright, colorful, cartoony graphics like this, that are fairly simplistic in nature by comparison, actually hold up well. Especially when you um, output them at much higher resolutions. Now, this game is not as bright and colorful as the original Banjo-Kazooie Banjo games, but, like, compared to other games of this generation, especially on the 360, it looks pretty darn bright and colorful to me. <laughs> now, uh, where's the thing I'm supposed to be filling up? I think my Jiggy's going here. Did I actually collect that Jiggy? Was I supposed to pick it up and... I don't know. 
I don't know. Warp to the seaside area from here. The water doesn't look all that impressive, unfortunately. But overall, yeah, I really like the look of this game. Not sure what's up with these penguins. Big Al's Burgers. If we go for a burger right about now. So yeah, so that's gonna just about do it for me for this uh, video. Uh, get this video uploading. But before I call it a video, I'll just take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams and videos, rather in live or in archive form. Just as a quick reminder, I do a daily long play stream almost every day, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. And as of this recording, I'm still playing through CrossCode on the Xbox Series X. I do a stream on Monday night, uh, retro or otherwise, 8 p.m. And I do occasional 4K and or HDR uploads like this that publish on Fridays. And hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to get back to doing this on a regular basis. And yeah, we'll have to see if I can uh, actually come up with a um, plan to make these videos a little more focused and therefore a little more watchable and hopefully even easier ideally easier for me to do on a regular basis well yeah like i said that's just about does it thank you so much for watching and until next time take it easy <laughs>